Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a new data structure known as the linked list data structure or more precisely, singly linked list data structure. Now, what is a singly linked list? So, singly linked list is a type of a data structure which in which all the data in the linked list is connected to each other through the address of the previous data. Okay. So, to get an idea, here, as you can see, we have a linked list formed here. So, here one is a data at the first position in the linked list. Okay. And every other data is then connected. Uh, one is pointing at two, two is pointing at three, three is pointing at four, and four is pointing at null. Okay. So, every uh, last data in the linked list point to a null value. Now, linked list has two things. So, two things are data and next. And this next is reference to the next data. Okay. Basically, this is stored, uh, this is, this works as a address to the uh, another data. So, one has, so in this link, if you talk about, so if in here, if you talk about and this L1 has the data equal to 1 and reference to 2. Okay. Like that. Similarly, this, uh, this one has uh, the data 2 and reference to next data. Okay. So, th this is how the linked list data structure is formed. Also, this is called as singly linked list because you can only move ahead in uh, in one direction. You cannot move backwards. There is also another type of linked list known as doubly linked list in which you can move backward too. Okay. So we, here we are going to discuss about the singly linked list data structure because these are uh, from these data st structures many interview questions are formed and are asked in the product based companies also. So, it is one of the most important data structure. So, let's understand its implementation. Now, uh, let's get to our Eclipse ID. So, the first thing, as you can see that linked list is made up of nodes. So, these, uh, this square bracket that you are seeing here are called as nodes. Okay. And every node contains two things. One is data and one is reference to next node. Okay. So, we have to first create a class node. Okay. And here we will say in data and node next. So next is a type of a uh, node class. Okay. And then public node and we have a constructor so to create a new node. So, via constructor, we will be creating another node. Initially, next will be, uh, in, next value will be equal to null. And that's very obvious in Java because uh, if it is not assigned, if instance variables are not assigned, they take the default values. So, for next is null. Okay. Now, we will come to the single linguist class. So, in the class, we will take a reference is initial references head. Now, if you talk about head, this first node is known as, okay, this first node is the head node. And we always keep the reference to this node, okay. So, we always keep the reference to the head so that we can traverse in the uh, another direction. So, even when we are traversing to uh, this link list, we take a reference variable and point toward this node and then traverse. Okay. So, we never change the position of the head. Because if we change it, we cannot retrieve the previous node and therefore it will be lost. So, the first operation that we are going to do is append. So, public void append, it will take a data 
Now, how append works? So the meaning of append is to if you are uh, to append the data at the last. Okay, basically it it means that or to insert the node next to the existing uh, node, right? So how do we insert that? So first we will check or basically first we will create a node, new node and we will assign it the value data. Okay. Then we will check if head is equal to equal to null. Now if head is pointing to null, so here the head is pointing to some node, but if head itself is pointing to null, it means that head has no data and therefore there is no request. So we will say head equal to node. We will make head point to node and we will return. Okay. Now another case can be what if head is not null? What if head uh, already has one node? So what we will do? Uh, in this case, we will have a while loop. Okay. Now in while loop, we have to traverse to the last node and then we have to find whether where we have to insert. So in case of append, as you can see here, we have four nodes, one, two, three, and four. So I just take one another node here. Okay. Let's say this is five. I want to insert append this node. If I want to append this node, then how will it look? So it will not point here. Rather, it will point like this. And this will point like this. Right? This is how it should work. So what we are basically doing is pointing the next of the five to null and pointing the last nodes next to the new nodes address, right? So for that, we have to traverse from here to this one. But since we cannot change the head, so we will take a reference variable. So reference variable will be, we can take temp, temp equal to head. And then we will say, temp dot next not equal to null. So till temp dot next is not equal to null, we have to uh, traverse ahead. So suppose temp is present here. Okay. So let me show you. So suppose temp is initially here. Now what is going to happen? We are we will traverse uh, to this position. So temp comes here. Okay. Now then temp comes here. Still the next has a has some reference to a node. Not it's not pointing to next. So temp comes here. I do not put a T for now. And then temp comes here. Now initially, this was not pointing to anything. So we will say, okay, wait, okay. So initially four was pointing to null. Okay. So initially four was pointing to null. So it will see that when temp comes here, it will see that temp dot next is null. So it is pointing to null. So it will stop here. So we have to break out of the loop from here. So how do we increase the temp? So we will say temp equal to temp dot next. Okay. And as we could go to the last node, when the temp reaches the last node, the loop will break. Now we have the last node and we have to insert. So what we will say temp dot next equal to node. That's all. Okay. We don't have to uh, do node dot next equal to null because it's obvious. Okay. Because initially it always be null only. Right. So this is how we are going to insert R uh, or append R in single in list. Now let's try to print this list. So next function is public void print. Now the logic will be same. So this logic will be as it is. Here we are using the same logic, but we are saying 
temp not equal to no. Okay. Now why here we have changed this condition in the while loop? Because if we say temp dot next not equal to no condition, then it will not print the last node. So we will say that's uh, so we will say that the temp not equal to null and then we will print what we will print temp dot data and let's format it out so it looks uh, clean and here and we will uh, have a we will leave a line and then write null okay now let's create a single link list so single link list list equal to new single link list let's append one let's append two and let's append three and one more value we append it's four and now we will print the list so let's see so as you can see our output is coming perfectly fine one two three four and four is pointing to null that's what we wanted now next is uh, next operation is insert anywhere or at a given position so we will have a function known as insert at insert at and you will give you will be given int data and int position okay now you have to insert at the given position not anywhere so suppose uh, you have given a node and you have to insert between 2 and 3. So this is a position 0, this is a position 1, this is a position 2. So position 1 and 2 you have to insert. So between, if you insert between 2 and 3, that node will become the position number 2. So you have to insert at position 2. So in that case, you have to first reach out to this node, to node number 2. So once you reach to this node, what you will do is, you will, okay, I tell you by the example. Wait, let's take a example here. And let's say we want to have a 6 here, between 2 and 3. In that case, what we will do, we will first make sure that 6 next, next point to 3, okay. And then we will break this loop and then we will make point 2 to 6. So in this case, a node will be inserted and a result will be 1, 2, 6, 3, 4. Okay. You can ignore this 5 for now. Fine. So, but here the base condition will be. What if you insert at position 0? What if, what, what if you want to make the node as head, a new head? You currently head is pointing to 1, but now you want another node to point uh, for head to point and, and it should become the head. In that condition, first you will be creating a new node. So, a new node data. You will say if position is equal to equal to 0. So you have to insert at head. So what you will do is the node next node dot next will point to head first. So if you consider the case of 6 here, first this node will point to this. Okay. And then head will point to this. Okay. And then head will point to this. It's a too much uh, mess up thing. <coughs> okay. Don't worry. I hope you are getting the point. Okay. And then you will say return from. But if 
there is any other position than this so what you have to do you again have to traverse so you will take a temp variable into head the while loop the condition will be while minus minus pause greater than 0 so decrease the pause or decrease the position till it is 0 and continue to increase the temp that's all we have to do how it works so as we have said that if you want to insert at 2 so suppose between 2 and 3 we want to insert a position 2 means between the 2 and 3 so currently the position is pos is 2 okay so first we decrease the position and initially it will be pointing to head then we will be incrementing the first we will be decrementing the pause and it will the value of the position will become 1 and it will move ahead to 2 then again the value of the position will uh, decrease to 0 and it will not go ahead because 0 is the condition is not true because 0 is not greater than 0 it is equal to it so here the loop terminates now how you have to insert as i have said node dot next okay so your temp is at uh, 2 okay so node dot next equal to temp dot next you have to put the temp next into the node of next and then you have to point temp dot next equal to node that's all so let's check it out if it work it is working so list dot insert at so we are going to insert 6 at position 2 okay so and after this we will be printing our list okay so now you can see that 6 comes between 2 and 3 so we got perfectly what if we want to insert at 0 so let's see if 6 becomes the new head oh that fails uh, why it fails okay it fails because uh, we pointed the node of next to head so node our new node was pointing to head but head was not pointing to node so head should point to the node okay and now if we run then 6 becomes the new head okay so that is very very easy next basic operation is public void delete so delete is also uh, delete takes just the position you can also take data and find the data if data is there you delete it if data is not there then you return the and you return minus one or you say that you print some statement that the data we want to delete is not there <coughs> okay so what we will do is same as what we have done currently we will just have to copy paste this one because uh, linguist is as easy as uh, it's very easy to implement it's not very difficult you just have to understand how the things work how we are traversing okay that's only we are what we have to understand here also we only have to understand at when we are inserting at what node we have to go and when we are deleting and what we no node we are have to go now if suppose we have to delete this three so at what position it is <coughs> zero one there six is at two and three is at third third position it is at so we have to again reach at the previous position so second position that's why again we are using the same thing and it's very easy what we have to do is in the case of deleting the node 
I just tell you here only. Wait. Suppose one is pointing to two is point two is pointing to three is pointing to four and it is pointing to null. If we want to delete this three, okay. So what we will what we have to do is we will do one point to two and we will make next of two point to four. That's all. And two four or uh, uh, fourth next will point to null. That's all we have to do. So our node have our our temp variable has reached to two with this loop and it has break. So what we have to do? Temp dot next equal to temp dot next. Now temp dot next is three and three dot next is four. That's all. So the operation is done. Now if we check out for this, now here our list is this. So what it it, it will do? So we will be passing if we want to delete three. So six is position zero, one is position one. This is two. This is three. So we have to delete at position three. So list dot delete at three, and let's print the list. <coughs> so if we print the list, you get six one two four three is deleted. Perfect. Great. So these are the various operations. One is append, one is inserted, and one is delete. These are the basic operations, and another to print the list if traverse. So these are the basic operations in the single linked list, which is the implementation of how the linked list works. Now there are few very important things regarding the single linked list, like reverse the linked list. So how do we reverse it? And that's a very tricky thing. You can try yourself first without seeing any guide, of course. Okay, and we will be discussing it in the upcoming videos. Also, we can. Uh, there is one more question which is related to find the middle node of the single linked list, and there is one more question to check whether our given linked list is a palindrome or not. <coughs> okay. So these are the special problems related to the single linked list. We will be discussing in the upcoming videos. Okay, and that's all for this video. So I'm signing up. Thank you. Bye bye.